free and open source software is about the ability for users to control their own computing. It's not only about the license of the code, but it's how you build ideas. Free software really democratizes things and allows for more people to contribute to solving the world's problems. We're one of the classic free software projects. GNOME is a collection of different projects. So originally it started as a desktop environment. The aim is to have people able to use free software on their own desktop. From medical devices to self-driving cars, there is bits of GNOME technologies in those. We had that idea that something that has to just work. That's when we started on this journey trying to build something greater than us. And now we're creating our own way of interacting with the desktop. It's a lot of that innovation which has kind of driven to produce fully featured working desktop software that works for millions of people. There is a misconception that it's just the wild west out there and everyone goes and does their own thing. There is quite a lot of structure in place to use things successfully. This global collaborative way of working is something that kind of really moved from the free software movement in the early days into something that's becoming a standard way of working commercially and throughout the world as well. Before we had a complex set of tools, they were not very user friendly. So basically looking at alternatives is when we saw GitLab. Our move to GitLab was the major instance of our looking at the tooling and trying to make it a better experience for newcomers and also for existing community members and to simplify all sorts of workflows. It's really lowered that barrier for entry and we've seen contributors from people we haven't seen before who are just able to get involved a lot easier. You have to put effort into making sure that you both retain existing community members and attract new ones. You have people from around the world with completely different backgrounds. They come to your project and they want to contribute. If you don't communicate well with them, they are going away because they are doing it in their free time. Because of the people I know, the contacts are made, the friendships are made, all of those things play into why community is important. It's impossible to have a project as big as Gnome, as ambitious as Gnome, without people from the community. It is said um, with jokes every now and again that next year will be the year of the Linux desktop, which never seems to quite come to pass, but in some ways it is. What I would love personally to see is developers producing free software for free software platforms but by using free software tools to do so, and by using free software desktops to do that. What people can do when they get together with a singular purpose, to have that perseverance and vision, you can get it accomplished. <laughs>